Defense, eh, not that great. Health total, eh. So. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Victor, the original Dracula, coming to spook you out just in time for Halloween. He's got 778 on his attack, 671 on his defense, and 1347 on his health. Statistically, the attack power is pretty high, actually one of the highest in that categories for the purple, so that's pretty amazing there. Defense, eh, not that great. Health total, eh. So, he's definitely got some good attack power. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 100,000 silver and one free champion, Accolade. It's only available for new players in the next 30 days. All your treasure, it's waiting for you right over here. He is part of the Return to Marlovia quest, which is gonna be rolling out here real soon. He does give you a bonus. Two, three heroes, they get anywhere between 5% and 12% mana generation. He deals 211% damage to the target. The target receives 225 damage over 5 turns. If a target already has this effect, the duration will be refreshed and the damage will be increased by 300 up to 825 damage in total. The caster steals 61% of any healing applied to the target for 3 turns. All allies get 30% defense for 3 turns. So I remember when they first released Victor, especially being at very fast speed, we we're like, wow, this could be really cool. It deals a lot of damage. Kind of like the next Gravemaker. It didn't really happen that way at all. We, were, we had some high hopes for him. Unfortunately, he got nerfed a bit down. And now he's kind of unusable, essentially, at this point. I had, I had a lot of really cool expectations for him. Him being at very fast speed. He's dealing damage. The problem comes in to where it's too unknown, especially with him on defense, to where you want his ability to stack onto, onto the same hero, but you can't guarantee that, especially with him on defense. It is pretty cool that he does give your all, all allies 30% defense for three turns. Um, and then the stealing of life, that's it's pretty cool. So it's a lot of stuff going on here. Unfortunately, Victor missed the bar a little bit. He is part of the wizard class heroes. Uh, he was definitely battling it out against Guinevere, uh, but you have, um, I believe, Sartana, Hell. They're also in that category too. So uh, you might have some. I know Onatel also is in that category. Possibly, maybe, but not my first choice. When we take a look at his grades against the Titan, he is going to get a B plus grade there. The only reason why he gets a B plus is because his tile damage is actually ridiculous at 778. With him uh, having that spot, if you are putting emblems on him, definitely could see him fitting into a Titan team for the high tile damage. But other than that, it's not really going to help out too much. The allies getting 30% defense for three turns, that definitely helps out quite a bit there. Um, but it's mostly just for the high tile damage and that's about it. So he's going to get a B plus grade, and I had to give him that just because of his tile damage. When we look at him offensively, he is going to get a B plus grade there. This definitely got shook down a little bit. Uh, I could see that it does help out with him doing 211 damage, and then he's also, if you stack it on top of him, uh, stealing some life total. Maybe it's a bit relevant with Teleria. Just with him running very fast, I look at and compare the other hero, like uh, Clarissa, very fast on offense. And I probably just prefer having her. She's going to deal more damage, in my opinion, over the, the turns, especially if you're, you're relying on them going off twice. She goes off twice. It's a lot more damage. So... I do like uh, I do like that Victor does steal life, but it's only 61%. Eh, it's 
it's okay. I think that there are some worse heroes out there, but I, I do appreciate him running at very fast speed. He is going to get a B-plus overall for offense. When we look at his defensive grade, he is going to get a C as far as a tank goes. Obviously, with having un, uh, unmet expectations, with you don't know where the damage is going to go, if it hits one one person and then it goes to a different person, Tim run at very fast speed. It does help out that he has the 30% defense, but he's not really built for a tank position, especially with his life total and his defense. I don't recommend him in the tank at all. When we look at his flank position, he is going to get a B minus grade. It does help. He is running at very fast speed. The 211% damage does help out. He's going to give you damage over time. It's only a single hero, but maybe the all allies getting 30% defense. I just think that there's a lot better heroes that you could potentially be using in a flank position. This one not being it. Uh, when we look at his wing grade, that's where I guess maybe you could have the most utility with him in terms of the damage. Because you could have him being going off and then there's maybe less heroes with him going off So you have less targets that are that are assembling The only issue is is that he also gives all allies 30% defense for three turns Which just makes things kind of really awkward because you want him to be firing while your heroes are alive But you also have this really weird position where his damage is not suitable for heroes being alive so it's just this really awkward back and forth, and I guess if you're putting him on defense, probably the best place is going to be in the wing. Defensively, he is going to get an overall grade of a B-. I don't really recommend this hero at all on defense just because of too many unknowns. It is nice that he is running at very fast speed, but too many unknowns is going to definitely ding him. When we look at his weekly raid grade, he is going to get a C on rush attack. Obviously, he's already running it very fast. You can pretty much bring in any other hero on rush attack versus him. I don't recommend it at all. When we look at his buff grade, he is going to get an A-, and I think that that's where he possibly shines the most. Uh, being that he is running at very fast speed, it helps out a ton with him increasing the 30% defense for three turns, especially being in purple. There's not a ton of heroes that help out in increasing your defense, so that is one that can stack and help you out there. So it does help out very fast. He's dealing damage. Could be used. Uh, when we look at his bloody battle grade, he is going to get a B grade there. The reason being is that he, obviously the, the whole stealing life, that does help. But he is also running at very fast speed, so he could potentially kill them. I think that it's about average when you consider consider all things where you're not really utilizing the healing, but you're also very fast dealing a decent amount of damage, and then also helping out with a 30% defense. So I'd say it's a wash. I will give Victor an overall grade of a B. Uh, he does have some utility on offense and defense, but really he gets dinged a ton as far as his uh, defensive grade. It's not a very good hero at all on defense. He is going to get a B, maybe flex into a B plus, but I don't see it at all. So thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, you turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video. The caster, cut that out. You can make that a blooper.